All right, today I'm going to show a particle system simulation, which you can see right now. It's starting up. I'm just showing the uh, debug version, so not everything's completed. Uh, the red box is the bounding box for, that fills up the particles or that shows the dimensions of the particles. And I use that for visibility detection and again, to determine whether I should even update the particles if they're not visible. So it's used for optimization. The yellow part the yellow boxes are showing the particles as they're being simulated. And again, I'm using this just to make sure that the system is up and running. Now you can see that it's kind of choppy. And the reason for that is I'm only showing the fixed time step update. I should be interpolating the fixed time step results to get a smoother transition. But I want to see what actually is being simulated in the fit the fixed time step so I'm not showing that and it's also padded I've added a little bit of padding now the way the system works for the particle systems is I code up a bunch of um, I guess we could call them particle simulators and they're for instance they're uh, one of the simulators might affect the scale of the particle in some manner another one will affect the motion of the particle through the world and what the game designer would do is he would take all these uh, different particle simulators, stitch them up together in a, in a text file. We'll call it a particle effects file, for example. And he can create a limitless uh, number of effects for the particles just by stitching up different uh, particle effectors. And also he can put an emitter. For instance, this is just a simple point emitter that emits at a point, but you could have a box emitter a sphere emitter or several emitters in one particle system. And again, by stitching up these particle components, he can have all the variety he wants for the particle systems. And it's only limited by the particle simulators that I make available. All the simulators are, they're written in C++. So again, they need to use me for, for having specific uh, simulators to act on the particles. But once they have the ones they need, they can go to town and create different effects. And just to reiterate, this is just the first start and uh, it looks like it's working pretty good. So I'll keep working and then the next video will show the finished product. Thanks.